Hello, my name is Bridget Sandusky and I am the Assistant Dean of Graduate Law Programs here at Suffolk University in Boston, Massachusetts. Today I am going to answer your questions about who should you get to write your letters of recommendation. So at Suffolk, we look at the application in a holistic way, meaning there isn't just one individual factor that's going to make or break an application. But really, letters of recommendation are a very important piece of your application file. And you should really think carefully and considering who will know you the best. Who is going to be able to write a letter of recommendation and include new information that we as an admissions committee can't find otherwise in the rest of your application. Um, so we have your resume, we have your personal statement and your grades. What we are really looking to see in a great letter of recommendation is an individual that's going to tell us a different side about you, maybe about your work. So maybe you're an intern or you're a practicing lawyer and this is a, from a managing partner in that law firm, your direct supervisor. And um, so here at Suffolk, we have individuals that will come immediately straight from university. And in that case, it might be more appropriate for a letter of recommendation to be coming from a law faculty member. Um, whereas if you've been practicing in um, four or five years, 10 years, um, it's much more um, common for a letter of recommendation to come from a colleague or a supervisor within your law firm or the legal organization where the student and um, the applicant is currently working um, rather than a law faculty member where they graduated 10 years ago. Um, so it, it's really up to the students to choose the selection carefully um, and make sure that this person is going to um, provide us new information. What we're not looking for is status. It's much more important to us, certainly here at Suffolk, that um, it's a good letter of recommendation from someone who knows you individually, not somebody that you might know through someone who knows someone who knows someone. Um, it's, it's more impressive to us that it's a person that it's going to shine through in their letter about you that they do know you and they know about your career goals and your aspirations and why you want to come and pursue an LLM degree and maybe even more specifically about why you want to do an LLM degree at Suffolk Boston, for example. Um, that's really going to tell the admissions committee so much more about you than an individual that's not going to know you very well, but for the fact that they know somebody else um, connected in your family, for example. Um, so, I, I, you know, it's something Think about it carefully. Um, ask your letter, your recommenders to write your letter of recommendation sooner rather than later. You want to give them ample time to submit your letter of recommendation. Um, but we do know that in some countries, it's very difficult for a student to secure a letter of recommendation or a good letter of recommendation. Um, so at Suffolk, we'll never penalize an application if their letters of recommendation are not very strong. However, it can make a big difference to an application file that may we may be on the fence about, um, that we may not be inclined to admit until we read their letters of recommendation and they're really outstanding, amazing letters of recommendation and that makes all the difference for them. So certainly take your time, choose wisely, and we hope to see you at Suffolk Boston. Take care.